early this morning and it said, um, think about, think about one thing, think about one thing about being a human that you are grateful for. One thing, one thing about being a human that you are grateful for. When I read that, I thought of you. I thought of y'all. I was going to get to come here and be around people that have a passion for something. For something, for plants, for the environment, for each other. It's good to be around passionate people. It's good to be around passionate people. And that's what you are. You took the time out of your day to come here, and we just thank you so much for that. I hope you're taking the opportunity while you're here to network with people that you are seeing across the room. We have a lot of interesting people here. Many of your faces I know. Many of your names I know. But when we were looking at this list, I like to look at the list several different ways. I just go over it and over it. And of 122 people that are registered, 55, this is your first time coming. Your first time coming to this event. So welcome, welcome to the South Florida Native Plant and Wildflower Symposium. I was just talking with Kristen over there, and um, sometimes I'm a little slow on the intake. I don't know about y'all, but it takes me a few times before I get something, like reading it over and over. And several of the people here at this symposium have said to me, you know, this is my fourth year, or this is my fifth year, and it's making sense now. Some of the things that Beth was sharing just then, it's starting to find a place in your own landscape, in your own planning, in your own way of thinking about things. So... Thank you for coming, all you first-timers. I'm so glad you're here. Please come back. Please come back. We've already got our first speaker lined up for next year's event, and she's sitting right over there. Karen Giambingo will be a headliner next year. So, um, you know, this is kind of like Christmas. We look forward to it and look forward to it, but we're already thinking about next year, too. So we're so glad that you're here. I will go ahead and tell you right now, too, Please pay attention to, I think it's a very bright pink piece of paper in that folder, and it's the evaluation. That is critical for us when we start planning. Um, we ask some of the same questions every year, but I want to I put you to, in that comment section, I would love to hear your thoughts on this venue, on this facility. This is our first time coming here, so please share um, freely, please share freely on how how this is working, being at this place. So, thank you again, thank you, Beth, for all of all of those wonderful ideas that you just shared. And now we have Gary Hawkins. I think y'all may have noticed by now. I don't do a lot on the introductions because to me these people speak for themselves. Um, here he is with UGA. He used to be right down here with us in Tifton, but he went off and left us to go to Mecca or somewhere, I don't know. He had to go to the big house, but um, we're glad that he's back here with us today. Gary Hawkins, I thought he was an engineer. I thought he was an engineer. That's why you were able to figure out his microphone. But um, he's here today to speak on another one of Garden Club of Georgia President Martha Price's main projects, and that's water, water issues. That was one of Martha's focus, focuses in her administration. But um, we're so glad that Gary's here. He drove all the way down from Athens, and he's going to eat lunch and turn around and go all the way back. So thank you, Gary. Y'all make him welcome. Here's Gary Hall.